Okay, guys, we got ourselves an old Continental sitting right here. Two-door coupe. And, man, as you look in, you can see that monstrous size motor in there. I don't know if that's a 460 or something bigger. If I get the information on it, I'll be sure to drop it in the comments below. If you guys think you got an idea, be sure to leave a comment. But we're going to look at this. This car is massive for a two-door. I mean, the whole front end is just massive. If you look in, this is a very clean old Lincoln here, man. Very clean. They have something like this. People thought you was a millionaire back in the day when they first produced them. Or a mortician. One of the two. <laughs> this car is massive, but beautiful. And this thing has been well taken care of since it was first produced. Yeah, guys, as you can see, the rear of this car, just as beautiful as the front end, just as beautiful. I don't know if it's got duals on here, it's probably single exhaust, but looking at this thing from the back end, going up to the back glass, you can see, even though it's a two-door vehicle, it is a massive size car. Let's check the driver's side. Yeah, guys, to look at this thing from the front and this engine is just mind, just mind blowing. The size of that motor, the block itself in there, you know. As I said, I don't know if Ford was building them any bigger than a 460 and putting them in cars like this, but if they were, back in the day, this particular Continental has it. And the interior in here is really, really good, man. We're checking out all the instruments in here. Automatic. You had your air control down there. Radio, ignition, everything. It's fully loaded for the car as it was back in the day. Except for a sunroof. But this thing was just beautiful, man. Just beautiful. So for all those Lincoln fans on the channel, if you got an idea what year this is and what type of motor came in these things, please drop a comment. We'd love to hear from you guys. We come back up towards the engine compartment. Taking a good look at this massive grill. And another look at that engine in there. That thing's huge, guys. We're going to move on to the next car. Okay, guys, here we have ourselves a beautiful convertible Cadillac Eldorado. I've been coming across a good number of Cadillacs and across a good number of convertibles here lately. My God, <laughs> it's that time of the year, almost officially summer. And all of a sudden, these convertibles have been popping out of nowhere. I mean, this car is very, very clean. It appears to be fully loaded. For the time, when cars with air conditioning was considered fully loaded. <laughs> this is a cruiser, guys. A beautiful cruiser. To get out there and drive with the top down, the wind blowing through your hair. I'm sure that the engine size in here has got to be at least a 400, if not bigger. These things were very popular back in the day. Yeah, these old Cadillacs, boy, built to last. 
if you took care of them. Because I used to see them in every type of condition. And they were still running. Still running. I used to see people drive to the mill in Cadillacs, beat up, but the cars was running. Yes, they were. Yes, this is a nice one here. All right, moving on to the next car. Okay, guys. Now we're going to take a good look at this beautiful Cadillac Eldorado. Man, the paint on this thing is so beautiful. Deep shine to it. Cadillac hubcaps, white wall tires. Those big torpedo bumpers that would just break your legs if it came down the street at 10 miles per hour and the car hit you. Yeah, you wasn't walking away from this one. I love it got the gold trim around this car. See, something I didn't know they had back in the day with the gold trimming. But look at the glass on this thing. Basically wraps around almost. Not completely, but it does a good job of that. This massive door. I know that thing's got to be heavy to open. Wow. And I do believe, if I am mistaken, this is all electric. It could be roll-up windows. It could be. We're going to find out. I'm looking at this roof. I don't see any scratches on this car. To detail, I don't see anything wrong with this. I love this chrome trim over the tire. And that's wrapping around to the bumper. Look at that. That wraps all the way around to the bumper. And your exhaust come right out the bumper itself. How about that? Tail light. I think that's your backup light there. I wish you could get all the way around the car. And the fins got trimmed with chrome. El Dorado trimmed in gold. I love this color on this car. Rear glass is beautiful. Let's take a look on the passenger side. At this back bench. Very clean in here. I love this color, color combination. Oh man, that's that bench is big enough. Headliner. Looking at these seats up front here. Yeah. This is when Cadillac was building some big cars that were so luxurious for the times. I mean, whew, this is one heck of a car to have. We're gonna look in at the passenger side, I mean driver's side. Yeah, what a beautiful, beautiful Cadillac. My God. I see why people went so crazy for these cars. Well engineered, well designed. I was into Lincoln like my grandfather, so that's all I ever known as a kid growing up. <laughs> he was a stankin' Lincoln type of guy. And this thing is just beautiful, man. Going all the way around the back. On the driver's side, this car is beautiful. Looking at that back bench from the driver's window, these seats are just nothing but comfort. That's all it says, nothing but comfort. We're gonna take a quick 120 on the speedometer. Guys, you can't beat this old car, man. <laughs> this thing is beautiful. For old Cadillac, please. It's sitting here at Midwest Car Exchange. And this thing is just immaculate. Like I said, I see no scratches, no damages. This thing is beautiful. Looking at that front end. Whew. 
That front end, that's what remind me of a 57 Chevy is those torpedo-like bumpers, you know. But this car is beautiful. All right, guys, Cadillac, El Dorado, a beautiful 50s model, sitting here at Midwest Car Exchange. Give them a call if you like it. I'll leave the information down below in the comments. Later, guys.